Hello everyone, hope you find yourself having a great day. Today I'm going to go over a uh, combination of applications. Um, first being Adobe After Effects, uh, the second being Cinema 4D, and another handy one that will allow you to export um, OBJ sequences from Cinema 4D so that you can get them into After Effects and ultimately into Element 3D so that you can retain your animations once you've gotten them into Element 3D within After Effects. Now traditionally in After Effects uh, once you uh, apply the Element 3D plugin uh, and import a 3D object or use one of the uh, stock 3D objects that uh, come with uh, Element 3D you're going to have to extensively keyframe uh, individual components of objects in order to get them to animate properly. There's a plugin out there that's called, let me pull the website up, it's called Riptide Pro. And what Riptide Pro will do for you is allow you to export an OBJ sequence, a light wave object file, uh, in a sequence format, similar to a PNG sequence, image sequence, or a um, JPEG sequence. Uh, but what it's going to do is it's going to let you export the uh, 3D data in OBJ format in a sequence style so that then you will be able to um, truly manipulate uh, the 3D objects from within Element inside of After Effects and uh, easily go back and forth between Cinema 4D, similar to what they've got planned for After Effects in the future. I believe it's going to be in After Effects release. Uh, uh, CS7 sometime here in the near future. So let's get started here. Um, I'll put the link uh, to Riptide. Uh, they've got a free version. They've got the pro version. Uh, it's $50, so uh, keep that in mind. So we're going to start Cinema 4D. Now I've got a little uh, animation here, just something very basic. And what we've got is uh, I've got a sphere. It's going to hit and roll down. And uh, the sphere has been uh, given the um, dynamics body tag of a rigid body. Uh, this platform has a rigid or a collider body uh, simulation tag applied to it. And I've got some little uh, cylinders over here that are the, the idea is that the sphere is going to drop, roll, and knock these over. And typically, I'm going to go ahead and export this scene out. I'm going to export it as a wavefront OBJ file. And we'll just call it uh, static. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Leave the scale by default, and I'll minimize this, and then I'm gonna pull up After Effects. All right. So now, in After Effects, you know in order, or if you're not familiar with uh, Element 3D plugin, it requires that you apply the effect on a solid. So we're going to create a composition, new composition, 1280 by 720, and we're going to create a new solid. And once we've applied, created that, we're going to select it, and we're going to apply the effect. Video Copilot element. Now you'll need to go into your scene setup, and at this point we're going to import a 3D object, and that's that 3D object that we just created in Cinema 4D. So if I go to my desktop, I've got one called Static, and I'm going to import that, and you'll see that uh, well it doesn't appear here. Although we've applied our textures, what we need to do it to tell it to invert the normals. Okay, now it's still here. Let me answer OK. It's still here. It's not giving us much way to respond. We could apply lights to it, but it's not going to accept the lights properly. So let me do this. I'm going to delete this element effect from this composition. I'm going to go back into Cinema 4D. And I'm going to save. I'm just going to save the file. Save as desktop we're going to call this project let's call it give it a name and I'm going to save that I'm going to minimize it and I'm going to jump back into After Effects here I'm going to select my solid I'm going to apply the element 3d effect to it and we'll go back in the scene setup and I'm going to tell it to import a 3d object except this time rather than selecting the light wave object that we exported we're going to import the entire uh, Cinema 4D project. So we're going to import that. And you see now that we've got we've got our entire scene that we created, the actual Cinema 4D file. 
with all the different textures that are applied to all the different uh, objects and polygons in here. So I'm going to answer OK. Now we're in Cinema 4D, or back in After Effects. In order to rotate around this 3D object, we need to apply a camera. So I'm going to go to Layer, New, Camera. And we're going to jump into that camera and rotate around our object. So you can see that it's a 3D object, just like we created. And we can orbit about it. We can even um, track in on it. We can move about all we want. But if we were to hit play on our timeline here, you'll see that it's playing. So zoom in a little closer here. You can let me play this. Hit play. You can see that our timeline's moving, but our objects that we animated are not animating. So there's the current problem with After Effects in regards to. Uh, using the Element 3D plugin and um, importing 3D data from Cinema 4D. We can get it in there, but we're, we, at this point in time we can't animate it. With, without a lot of difficulty we can. So let me stop this guy. I'm going to delete that uh, element effect from there. Okay, so let's jump back into Cinema 4D. And this time what we're going to do is, like I said before, we use the Riptide Pro plugin to export an OBJ sequence so that then we've got all of our uh, animation information that we can then access through Element 3D and in turn through uh, After Effects. So how do we do this? Well, once you've installed the Riptide plugin, you get some options up top here under your plugins dialog for Riptide Pro. And we're going to choose OBJ Exporter. All right, so we've got that selected. And what we're going to do, because this is animated and there are keyframes involved, I'm going to select uh, put a dot beside animation sequence and uh, you can look at all my settings I'm, they're primarily all set at default with the exception that I've added an animation sequence to the uh, type of uh, export I'm going to enter OK and I'm going to uh, I've got a uh, folder on my desktop called object sequence I'm going to save it to there I'm going to click open and it's going to begin generating a sequence of OBJ files that I'll have access to um, from with element 3D so I'm going to click open and you see that it's playing through the, the uh, animation and up top here you'll see that it's exporting all the OBJ files that are going to be needed once we get an element 3D. So it's pretty fast. I'm sitting at 400 frames in this animation and you can see that it's ripping right through. It's not actually rendering, it's just rendering or uh, creating all the different OBG, uh, OBJ files. Okay, so that's finished. So we can minimize Cinema 4D. I'm going to go back into After Effects and we're going to apply to our solid. We're going to apply the Element 3D plugin again to it. And we're going to go into Scene Setup. And the exception this time is we're going to go under File, Import 3D Sequence. Okay? So we're going to go into the OBJ Sequence folder that we just rendered to from Cinema 4D. And we're going to select the lowest number of all of them. Typically it's going to be a, a, a your project name and then sequentially from zero and up to the, the frame number. So we'll import that and it's imported it. One thing we need to do in Element is to scroll down and we need to tell it to invert the normals. Okay? And auto normals. And at this point we've got our entire sequence in here. Okay? Uh, we can even apply, because I've individually applied textures to this base, the platform, the, the sphere, and each one of these cylinders. That's what these represent. It brought this material in from uh, Cinema 4D. But we can go into our presets um, under some of our shaders that we have. And for example, if we wanted to give this guy a, a, a texture, we can select, uh, let's say, concrete for that. Okay, for our sphere. We can select a, uh, let's just get some other objects going here. We can put uh, uh, metal on the whole group of them. And let's go ahead and enter OK. So now we're back into After Effects and we're going to step in our camera and we're going to orbit the camera and you can see that we've got the full 3D setup here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and track on in a touch. Rotate it down. Alright, and if I rewind this and hit play, you'll see now that we are within After Effects and we have our animation uh, intact. So we can, at any point, we can take and set our camera. We can set a keyframe on the camera. 
let's uh, go ahead and put some keyframes down we'll move forward a, a second or so and we'll rotate around and we've got us another keyframe so if I hit play you'll see the camera is actually moving about in the scene and we still have uh, our 3D animation intact as we've exported it from Cinema 4D. So, hope this helps you guys. It's just a, a great and awesome way for you to be able to get your animations out of Cinema 4D presently. I understand that in the future the uh, Adobe After Effects uh, CS7 is going to have a high level of integration into and with uh, Cinema 4D. Uh, so that may be something that uh, we can hope for to, to be able to have a experience with in the future however its interaction with element 3d is still up in the air no one knows at this point probably a few beta testers uh, are aware whether it's going to integrate or not but uh, make sure that if this is something you have a need for visit uh, I'll put a link in the description below uh, Spanky's prop shop Riptide Pro it's a great value for $50 if you've uh, a lot of interaction with 3d objects coming into After Effects um, so it would be a great help for you if that's something you'll have a need for. Alright guys, hope this helped. Remember, subscribe, rate, and comment. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.